Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and today we're going to be talking about something that everyone's kind of known, we've all known for a long time, but let's just come out and say it. Yo, what's up with the stages in Dragon Ball Fighters? How come we don't have so many iconic stages, and why do they refuse basically to add more stages to the game? So here we are on the stage menu. You've all seen this a million times over, I'm sure, and you usually just jam on World Tournament Arena and just use that as your default like most of us do. But yeah, so we do have a lot of iconic stages in the game. So hey, obviously World Tournament Arena. Uh, the famous Badlands where the initial Saiyan showdown happened starting off Dragon Ball Z, right? Uh, the caverns from Beerus versus Goku in Battle of the Gods. No cell games, destroyed future, space, which you know looks cool. Galactic Arena, which is the only stage we ever got in the game after the launch of the game, which is neat, you know, uh, Namek and all that kind of stuff. But here's the thing: there are so many truly iconic Dragon Ball settings and stages that simply aren't here in the game, and that is kind of mind-boggling, honestly. So when I'm talking iconic stages that you would think are shoe wins, I'm talking. Kame House, I'm talking Hyperbolic Time Chamber, hell, Snake Way would make a really cool stage, King Kai's Planet, what about Capsule Corp, right? There are so many easy things, and then you can even get into character-specific stuff. Like, what about Janemba's candy-coated flavor of hell? I think that would make a very st striking stage, honestly. Like, that looks good, and it's a very iconic and unique look that nothing else looks like. Uh, you could easily say, oh, hey, when Janemba came out, we put this stage in the game, right? And yet, none of this is here. And the reason why it really sticks out to me is this is not how other fighting games do this. So let's switch over for a second to Mortal Kombat 11. Hey, so here we are in Mortal Kombat 11. When you know what? Mortal Kombat 11's been adding new stages to the game. Free as charge as well, by the way. Uh, so we got four new stages recently here. Soul Chamber, Chronica's Keep, Retrocade, and the Deadpool. And heck, let's even talk about the Retrocade. Hey, so here we are in the Retrocade, and this is to show just the power of how a new stage can add some life and flair to a game. Because this stage is all about retro Mortal Kombat, right? Uh, the stage has changed all the classic backgrounds of Mortal Kombat's history. This is uh, Shao Kahn stage in Mortal Kombat 2. You can see Sonya on one end and Kano on the other, just like, you know, the classic game. Here's Mortal Kombat 2 Pit. Uh, it just has so much flair and life, man. It's so interesting, and someone is a big fan of Mortal Kombat myself. It brings in a lot of great memories, you know? I just love it, and there's all, so many examples, right? And... It's the simple power of what a stage could bring. So what if we had a Kame House stage? What if we had a Snake Way? Hell, where the hell's the Tournament of Power stage for Dragon Ball Fighters, right? Hey, here we are in Street Fighter V now. Street Fighter V adds new stages all the time. And as you can see here with Holly Jolly Beatdown, there's also all sorts of seasonal stages, right? That's fun, that's interesting. It's just a little bit of extra spice and extra variety and that honestly is always welcome. And some of the stages I absolutely love. Skies of Honor, I love the stage of death. I think it's so cool and dynamic. I know most people hate it because it makes people motion sick, but whatever, I like it, right? But yeah, so just tons of cool inventive stages are at all sorts of fighting games, right? Uh, we got Mortal Kombat, we got Street Fighter, Tekken 7 adds new stages all the time, right? And yet here we are with Dragon Ball Fighters, and well, we don't got much, do we? So in the end, obviously stages are not mission critical, right? They don't affect gameplay, they don't affect balance, well, unless you're an NRS game, I guess, then they do affect gameplay, but you know what I mean, right? They're not mission critical deals, but man, are they ever nice to have, especially for a game like this with so much lore, so much history, and so much like notable locations, like, yo, hey, Kame House, it's right here, right? How come that's not there? How come we can't fight on the beach? Considering Dragon Ball Fighters is the highest selling fighting game of this console generation not called Mortal Kombat, um, the money's definitely been flowing in, right? And while it's obviously not free to make a stage, heck, I would pay a couple bucks for a new stage, I'm sure you would too, right? Uh, I would pay, you know, three, four bucks, whatever, for a Kame House stage, for a Snake Way, for a Tournament of Power, and there's a whole revenue stream for the developers that they are basically not taking. <laughs> While maybe not everyone would take that route, right, to buy in to get a new stage, enough people would to make it more than financially viable 
opportunity to go for it. And instead, we don't even get that. We just get nothing. So I don't know if we have to wait for a Dragon Ball Fighters 2 for an opportunity to get some of the more iconic stages for the opportunity to get at bare minimum the tournament of power as a stage in Dragon Ball Fighters, but I guess we are where we are at this point. So at that point, I now throw it to you. So what stages do you think should be in Dragon Ball Fighters? And do you think there should be new stages at all? Would you pay a couple bucks for an extra stage? And yeah, just let me know your thoughts on the matter. And otherwise, my friends, that's it for this video. So hey, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.